Good morning everybody. <clears throat> I'm Helen Reeves, host of Beauty at a Certain Age UK and today I'm just doing a few minutes on making the most of yourself in the shortest possible time. So we were all very time poor and I think some people still are because they're having to do so much more at home, cram it all in. So I thought that's great, dug out these old notes of mine and um, we'll go through them with you. So those that are time poor, it's very, very quick and easy to make the most of yourself. However, there's just so many lotions and potions on the market. Where do you start? And there's sophisticated ingredient listings and incredible claims about anti-aging. So how do you work through all of that and find the best thing for you? That's my aim in life and if you look at services, I do different facials but I do different consultations and some of them are for free. So just contact me, I'm happy to talk through what's going on with your skin in your life, what products you're using and make recommendations. It might just be adjusting one of those products or when you use it or use it more often or it might be um, different ranges. I'm just happy to chat because I learn masses every time I talk to someone about a specific area in the beauty world, then I learn as well. So please keep me learning. So where do we start? Your first step is to make sure that you cleanse your skin thoroughly morning and night to rid it from the pol uh, pollutants, grime, makeup, and you also need to protect your skin from the damaging and aging UVA and UVB light rays and they're there even when the sun isn't shining and if you look through some of these videos through my video library a couple of weeks ago I did one on blue light which is actually the light emitted from computers, laptops, um, uh, mobiles that a lot of people are using a lot more so do have a look at that one. Right, so for your skin to be at its most healthy and operating at its maximum, morning Susie, thank you for joining me, and therefore looking great, it does need to be kept pH balanced and that is something to look for, I can help you look for that. The pH balancing allows the skin to maintain its own natural protective shield. This shield, you're born with it, it's known as the acid mantle, and actually it's a mixture of sebum and sweat, which are both naturally occurring um, from your skin. The pH level of your skin should be maintained around the 5 to 6 scale, and this is on the acid, alkaline to acid scale, where zero is um, acid, seven is neutral, 14 is very, very alkaline. If the acid mantle or when your acid mantle is disrupted, the skin becomes more prone to damage and to infection. And the acid mantle can be damaged as easily as using products such as some soaps, foaming washes, and a lot of facial wipes. What happens is that the alkaline builds up on the skin, you get layers of it, you can see it in, in other activities. It builds up on the skin and then it actually starts cracking and because it has adhered to the skin, those cracks go deeper and deeper into the skin and will actually crack the skin. This then allows the free radicals to come in and usually the first sign is that the skin starts being very, very sensitive. The more alkaline that builds up on your skin, the more sensitive it becomes. So the skin is able to recreate its own acid mantle. So say you've just splashed water on your skin, water's neutral at seven. Um, the skin will correct itself, but it can take about six hours to actually do that, during which time you've probably splashed more water on it or done something else to it, and therefore it's taking six hours each time you do it. So you're leaving the skin open to damage. This causes stress and this all um, speeds up the aging process. So are you starting to see where you can actually bring everything in your control? 
So the question that is often asked is what are free radicals? Well free radicals are toxins to our body. They do not react very well with our natural body cells and they cause damage. They're part of everyday life and they can be found in smoke, dirt, grime, pollution, chemicals, uh, preservatives and that is you can find them in food and cosmetics, medication, viruses, bacteria, sun's rays, everything that's around us. And in severe cases the free radicals can actually get in, break down into those cracks and damage the DNA of the body cells which will then help to cause a slowdown of the natural renewal and healing process. This then shows in the skin as lost elasticity, wrinkling and even worse. So how do we fight back? Well, we fight back by thorough cleansing, I've just covered that. Using pH balanced cleansing routine to help the, keep the skin acid, the, the acid mantle intact. I can help you with that and using a cleansing routine that contains natural antioxidants to help fight the free radicals and help repair the initial damage caused. So all of these actually will help you look younger for longer or keep you looking as you are for longer. <clears throat> Let's be sensible, you don't want to be my age and look 20, that would be a bit crazy. So um, there, there's balancing. So what are antioxidants? That's a very good next question. And these come in many different forms. There's vitamin A, which converts to retinol. There's vitamin C and E. They're the really uh, well-known, common ones and tried, practiced, proven. And then there are a lot more, which I will work through gradually and explain them to you. But they are the very basic ones. The other antioxidants have all just gradually... Oh, thank you, Mum. Thank you, Olivia. I'm going to let you into a secret. It, it, I've, I've actually played around and I've um, flicked on one of those ones where it really, really does smooth it all out. Um, but thank you. It's a slight cheat today. Um, can't think how I can take it off. Is that the tools? Right, okay, let me just go back to none. There you go, a little bit of difference, but I was playing around, I thought it was about time. So, you know me, I'm too honest. Um, so I've put me back to neutral. <clears throat> um, so antioxidants, so the skin is fighting a constant war. The free radicals are the enemy and the antioxidants are the goodies and they help both internally and externally help fight the bodies, help build the body's defences to fight off the enemy. So who wins? Well the more antioxidants you supplement your body with and use externally the better chance your body has of winning the war. So quick recap, what is the answer? So keep your skin balanced um, and help it keep out the free radicals. That's the first line of defence, that solid strong wall, don't let them in. <clears throat> help reinforce your skin by supplementing it with antioxidants and that of course helps so many other things as well. Keep away from pollution where possible. Eat as many preservative and additive free foods I harp on time and time um, that organic is best and again I've, I think quite an old video now is about organic so I'm going to put my list on my list to do another one of those. Keep out of the sun and use sun protection, moisturisers and sunscreen at all times. I've covered that and the keeping out of the sun because you do tan if you, I mean I do, I look better with a bit of colour definitely. Um, <clears throat> and But I tan by using SPF, um, our lovely SPF 30 sun, um, sun cream, face cream. So use pH balanced skincare products which are packed full of uh, Nilgard Remedies is one that I, it's what I use and they are packed full of natural antioxidants. So your quick and easy skincare, it could be as quick as 60 seconds, it's just finding a routine, having the bottles lined up next to your sink where you clean your teeth and going for it. So cleansers, um, can be a, a water soluble and they might be a face wash, use it in the shower, might be a cream, use that in the shower, wash it off, that's absolutely fine. Now tone, because as I said, 
water is neutral. So a couple of drops of pH balance toner, I'll help you with that. <clears throat> On damp cotton wool, wipe it round. Or you might want one of these lovely um, facial spritzers. So you spritz it over the face, let it dry. So this is now what your skin type is and how you like the feel of this of it on your skin um, or a couple of drops of toner in your hand and splash it on the face and then moisturizers can be light they can be lotions they can be richer uh, creams and they can be balms but again small amount smooth it on your face daytime just use a moisture um, an spf one and that's it go or if you want a bit of makeup, find um, a tinted foundation, a tinted um, foundation or what do you call it, tinted moisturiser. Use that as step number three. That is it. Shouldn't take more than 60 seconds, 90 seconds maximum. We ought to have a little marathon, shouldn't we, and try it all out. Um, and of course, book a free consultation with me and I'll help you get through this minefield of ingredients and products and um, go from there. Thank you very, very much, everybody, for watching. And I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday morning. And I'm going to go now, if I can find the finish. I can. Bye, everyone.